Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Born Reaper. Welcome back to the podcast. Alright, alright, yo, yo, we, 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 we here today, man, and it's a lot of shit going on in the entertainment industry right now. Um, woke up to some news. Um, apparently Rick Ross got pressed by some um Canadian goons for playing Not Like Us at the end of his concert. So let's just get into that, man. So from what I'm seeing from the video, um, some dudes approached him, him and his crew and security, um, and straight up, man, it just went melee. I think they threw a drink in Rick Ross' face. I didn't see him get hit. They said Rick Ross, Rick Ross got punched, but I'm, I'm actually watching this shit real time, and um, nah, man, I, I didn't, I didn't see him get punched. Definitely a drink got through in his face. Now his security, on the other hand, them boys got knocked the fuck out, goddamn, um. But that just that just brings it back to the thing. So like, um, I think Drake may get that same energy in California if he ever decides to come back and do a show. Uh, the, like I said, the beef it was gonna go way beyond just them two artists. You know what I'm saying? You got crews and fans and everybody picking sides and shit like that. And it was definitely gonna get real crazy before it got them calmed down. And um, yeah. They definitely flew a Rick Ross security guard. One of the dudes, one of his entourage was laid out asleep. Um, but Rick Ross pretty much left unscathed. Um, they tried, goddamn, but they didn't really get Rick. Rick got some shit to say after this. Um, but yeah, man, um, just going to another city and disrespecting their hometown hero. Uh, I mean, it, it shit can be in Candace or Candyland, nigga. It might ain't going to go well, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, goddamn, Kendrick. Hey, watch out for them Canadian goons. Say cheese. <laughs> nah, man, but I don't think Kendrick gonna go out like that. Kendrick might have some real, real security with him. But yeah, Rick, Rick was kind of lacking. You know, he the boss, goddamn, and he feel like he can't be touched. But man, it was crazy, bro. Um, just saw another clip. Um, chick ran up on stage and uh rushed Trey Songs, goddamn. Um. Uh, and it didn't go quite like how I thought it was going to go. I'm thinking, you know, security was going to rag doll the little girl and slang off the stage. No, nah, no. Nah. Trey Songz got them wrapped his arms around and was like, oh, she here now, man. Y'all might as well relax. Yeah, she made it, bro. She might as well. She she risked it all to get up here and hug me. So let's give her a selfie. Boom, boom, boom. He was real chill about the whole shit. And I, I kind of respect that from the man. You know what I'm saying? And um, it is what it is. Um, the BET Awards just went off. Didn't even know that that shit was on. They're talking about this is the biggest cultural event. Uh, they must have forgot about the pop out tour, but uh, we ain't gonna speak on that. But um, I think a lot of people are pissed off about um something that went down. Hold up, I got a clip I want to play. Well, not even a clip, just some audio um about what folks are feeling about the BET Awards. Hold up. Hold up. I'm old school, y'all. And I do respect women. I try to respect women. But y'all don't respect yourselves, you know what I'm saying? When you see Megan Thee Stallion on stage dressed like she's dressed, you know, um, and with about 40 women dressed like they dress, <laughs> you know, to a rap song that she made. And to me, that's not respecting yourself as a woman. It's just not. You know, and then you get upset when guys have their opinion about you. The way they was dressed on stage at the BET Awards performing that song is how you're supposed to be dressed when you with your significant other behind closed doors or when, or when you're in the strip club trying to get that paper. That paper. Hold up, hold up now. I ain't get to see the BET Awards, but I mean, I might need to see this performance. I old head talking about he old school and shit, man. What did you see, nigga? What did you see, brother? That was so disturbing, bro. But they should have been dressed in goddamn Little House on the Prairie dresses or some shit, nigga. Come on now. This is Megan the fucking Stallion and her crew, her entourage, bro. It's like, okay, goddamn. Well, my thing is, man, the, the shit about media nowadays, a lot of folks got a lot to say about media. When all you can do is simply not watch it. I mean, come on now. 
Like if you seeing some shit that, that just don't sit right with you, I'm pretty sure you were sitting there watching it with your wife. And me and my wife pretty chill, man. We cool. She be watching shit. <laughs> and she'll turn around and be like, look at this. And I look and I'm like, damn, man, is, is it okay for me to look for you? You sure, goddamn? I don't want to fucking get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 about it's about knowing. It's about knowing that that shit is out of reach, bro. I mean, as a man, as a grown fucking man, bro, you got to have some kind of self-control. Ain't nothing wrong with looking, my man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess he was appalled by the attire, goddamn. And I know what y'all probably thought I was going to be on his side with this shit. Nah, man, fuck that shit, bro. Oh, hell, you need to get your shit together, bro. I mean, you looking at Megan the Stadium and getting all offended because she dressed half naked? What the fuck, bro? Come on now. I mean, I get it, man. You don't want to disrespect your lady and all that shit, and, and you know I'm all for that. But um, at the same time, bro, all of this shit is entertainment, bro. It's just entertainment. I'm pretty sure there was some singers. She be probably watching Chris Brown gyrating, flip across the stage and shit, bro. It's just fucking entertainment, bro. I mean, if you saying it's some shit that she had on, she should have been wearing with a significant other, whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's the BET Awards, bro. Black entertainment, bro. We got our own style of things, bro. And I you know some of the shit is a lot. It's, it's, it's super fucking raunchy. You know what I mean? But uh, at the same time, it's just, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't agree with old head on this one, man. He he kind of um lost me. Yeah, he kind of lost me, lost me with that bullshit. But but whatever. On to the next shit, bro. On to the next shit. So Drake just recently dropped two new songs. Um, and I don't know who this singer girl is, but my old lady told me that she was with a group called Fifth Harmony. And my old lady also told me that this girl is extremely fucking racist. She don't like black people and she don't like Chinese people. She don't like no goddamn matter. She basically the female Charleston White, goddamn. So with that being said, um, I don't know who the fuck Drake manager is or who booking them for all this shit, but they need to goddamn do a little bit more research before they just throw this man into the fire and let him just do songs and do shit with anybody. Like he posted a um he posted a video, and then and at the end of the day, man, this posting shit to prove that you unbothered is just whack, bro. Like, he posted a plate of fried rice. I guess he was at uh, New Ho King, where Kendrick made the reference. And at this point, bro, you can go eat in that motherfucker. You can move into the goddamn restaurant. It ain't going to change what Kendrick said about your ass, bro. You know what I mean? And, um... The trolling is just like, huh, look, I'm unbothered, ha, 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 like he did, uh, he went bowling, and he named himself, you know, when you name your shit for your bowling shit, he named himself the 69 God, and um, the one of the little chicks, uh, one of the singer chicks, I don't even know who the fuck she is, neither, I don't keep up with all these females like that um, in the game, because uh, half of them are not doing nothing in a goddamn way, but um, she made the reference, what's, what's, um, What's wrong with being a 69 God? And all I kept thinking about was, okay, you missed the whole record and went straight to thinking about sex. I mean, fucking bitch. Like, it, the song speaks for itself. He's the 69 God. 69, underage, motherfucker. I'm not finna explain this shit for your ass, but the first thing you went to, you went to thinking about the 69 position. Like, come on, man. Folks can't be this fucking stupid, bro. Can't folks cannot be this fucking dumb. Or or they can be. You know what I'm saying? It's just fucking weird, bro. And and all this goddamn cleanup trying to prove to these folks that you unbothered by all the Kendrick love that he getting right now. It's just fucking sad, man. Drop a fucking record, nigga. Shit. Nigga, I right, you 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 didn't do too well in the battle. You lost the beef, nigga. But but drop a fucking song, nigga. Drop, get in the studio and get back to the Drake, the six god. Let's get it the six, nigga. Come on, you still got twenty one savage. You still got twenty one savage, bro. Just, just drop some shit with him. He's still hot in the streets a little bit. 
I mean, if Thug was out, you and him would be dropping some songs together. I know somebody still fucking with you, Drake. I know somebody in your entourage is a hidden gem of a talent that you ain't letting get to shine because you just so self-centered on yourself. Put some folks in the spotlight, bro. This is a new opportunity to fucking break out some new talent, rebuild your team. You ain't done, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? You just lost the battle, bro. You just lost to the true king of hip-hop. And when I say true king of hip-hop, that don't mean he got the most numbers or this, that, or the third. Kendrick Lamar is, is extremely successful, as is Drake. But just the 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 skill of actually rapping, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of folks don't get into that shit no more for real in, um, in today's society. Like, it ain't about rapping no more. It's about Spotify numbers and who got the most streams and who did this and who did that. What do, it's a, I'm talking about who can sit down and write a fucking rap, nigga. Who can freestyle a fucking rap and, and actually make that shit hard and make sense. A lot of motherfuckers ain't got that gift. A lot of folks ain't got the inner monologue. Probably That's probably why half of these motherfuckers mimic each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? Internally thinking and pulling some shit out your fucking subconscious to make that shit hit on a record, bro. Is, is, it, I ain't going to say it's not easy. But to somebody that actually fucking does that shit, like freestyling off the top of your head, sitting down writing a hook, sitting down writing a verse. We never needed ghostwriters and folks like that to help us do songs when we was coming up making music, bro. We would just group up in the studio and, and throw some shit at the wall. And nine times out of ten, all of that shit stick. It get to the point where we got too many fucking songs and we don't know what to do with the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I don't know, man. Drake need to just um, figure something out, man. And, and I get what he was trying to do, bro. Don't get me wrong. I understand the summer vibes that he was looking for, bro. He wasn't looking for the street anthems this year. Not for this summer, bro. He was looking for that Caribbean on the beach sunset type deal you know what i'm saying which is cool goddamn a lot of folks need that you know what i'm saying because a lot of folks getting tired of the gangster shit man like damn I, at what point can we just be regular goddamn we got, always got to be hard goddamn gangsters to till we die you know what i'm saying and that shit ain't popping for real in the street like that man hey gangsters ain't getting shit but killed and locked up goddamn you know what i'm saying and ain't nothing wrong with being a real nigga but also being a real nigga is knowing when you know it's a time and place for all of that shit. It's a time and place for all of that shit. A lot of folks from my generation, the 80s babies, you know what I'm saying? We 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 on some we on some developing our life going into our our older years. You feel what I'm saying? Um we don't want to be out here keeping up with the young folks and um who got the most money who got the fire is weed who getting the drunkest who spent the most in the club goddamn who got on the most expensive clothes i could give a fuck about any of that shit man for real like if i'm comfortable with what i got that's all that really fucking matters you know what i'm saying and a lot of folks uh missed that point growing up in the game you know what i mean so with that being said man I, I get what Drake was doing with his summer vibes. And guess what? I heard the two songs. And a lot of folks are dissing those songs because they ain't chart topping. And it, to be honest, I, I like the songs. It's just hard for me to listen to Drake right now with all the accusations and shit and all the proof that he goes like he he basically got damn got folks to write. Full fucking songs, not even um a line here or a hook there. I'm talking about verse for verse, word for word, and just his accusations and the nonchalantness about how he taking these accusations, not even coming out trying to defend himself, not even. It's just I don't know, man. It's it's, it's kind of hard to listen to the dude, bro. Um, like I used to fuck with Ja Rule, fucking heavy, bro. I used to love Ja Rule, goddamn. And um, after the Fifty Cent beef, bro, it was just hard for me to listen to Ja Rule after all the shit that came out with him and um uh, Fifty. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the shit just goddamn just get to the point where it's just like 
I don't know, man. The dude got to step up, step into the fucking sunlight. Let us see who the fuck you really is. Be authentic. You know what I'm saying? Come through, bro. Kendrick ain't do shit but be himself this whole fucking feud, man. I ain't heard nothing different from Kendrick other than the fact that the songs that he dropped were just newer songs. He ain't put on no act. He ain't put on no show. He ain't out on social media. I ain't seen one post from this nigga. I ain't seen one Instagram post, one tweet, one fucking nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? No interviews, no nothing, bro. He just fucking fell back. I think he was at the BET Awards. Um, he won Best Male Artist of the Year, and a lot of folks got mad about that shit. But who the fuck everybody talking about right now? Don't forget, he just dropped Mr. Morale, like, last year. So, he was in the runnings to be in that category. So, a lot of folks is just like... Uh, I don't think Kendrick should have gotten a male artist of the year and this and that and whoop the whoop. And I'm just like, well, well, what the fuck did you think? What the fuck was he supposed to did, bro? Damn, the man is the only artist right now, male artist right now that anybody's talking about right now in a in a in a light that's the best rapper, the best video, the best song, the best everything. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man. I don't know. It's just Drake got to come on clean, man, and just clean the slate, get back to what he do. You know what I'm saying? We like Drake with the melodies, man. And sometimes I did like Drake when he act tough until I found out that he wasn't really tough. Like when he ran off of the YG video with the game and shit, he just he fucking jumped in his car and took off because he got scared. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's... <laughs> That's just that just shows, man, real street shit. Cause you gotta really be comfortable in these streets, bro. You you if you ain't from the streets, you ain't gonna be comfortable in the streets, and that's just point blank, plain and serious. You know what I'm saying? If you get put in a situation where you actually gotta hang out in the trenches, you gonna be a you you gonna nut up. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna want to be there. You are gonna be nervous. You, you, folks can feel the aura of nervousness off your ass. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. I just feel like Drake need to just come on clean, start clean slate, and continue to do what he do, and he should be all right. I mean, facts, he's going to fucking be all right. The guy's a multi-millionaire, megastar, goddamn, so he's going to be fine. Uh, but just just to get his his popularity and his rep back up, man, he got to humble up and humble himself. Uh, Childish Gambino. Uh, he was at the um, BT Music Awards, and uh, man, the, the dude is just crazy, bro. <laughs> I fuck with Chad as Gambino, and he does have an album dropping soon, and I will be fucking with that shit. Um, he got a new movie, Bando something. Shit look weird as fuck. I will be checking that movie out. Um, what we got? The Deadpool. They just dropped the new Deadpool trailer. Uh, so we will be getting Sabretooth versus Wolverine in this movie. So. That shit's finna be fucking awesome, bro. I can't wait to see who else gonna pop up in this movie, man. Um, they really going crazy with the damn promotion for this shit, and it's gonna be fucking, it's gonna be fucking dope, man. Um, but with that being said, man, we 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 cover we cover some shit. Uh, we gonna get up out of here. I'm finna hop on Twitch and get a little game time in before the wifey get off and we make our rounds for the day. But um, yeah, man. Y'all in the comments, bro, just let me know what y'all think about the Rick Ross fight. Let me know what y'all think Drake should do to get back if you think he need to do anything to get back. I know there's some Drake fans out there that feel like uh, Drake is fine, you know what I'm saying? But in reality, that boy is not fine. I don't think he had a good night's sleep in a long-ass time. Um, but with that being said, man, um, this your boy, Born Reaper, and uh, we're going to be up at this thing. i get with y'all on the next podcast. Do.